now I'm gonna show how to, to do variable sections even on 3D window. Select the column and you see this blue line on axis, clicking on it, you can see the floating palette. We have this option split segment. And I'll click at the bottom part of the bin, the bottom part of this T profile, and after clicking again on the reference line, split segment, at the bottom part of the bin. And I'll click again to do I'll click again to do another segment and I'll type a distance here. So 30 centimeters. And here on info box in cross section size, I'll change here to tapered size and also unlock these dimensions to add it freely. So here on 3D, you see this edit command. I click edit and now inside here, I am on editing mode of this column tool. And inside this edit mode, you can select a segment separately and clicking on node. We have this option in floating palette, straight cross section width if symmetrically, and I'll type 90 centimeters. Selecting the section below, you can click on node. I'm gonna use the same command, but now I change here to a variable section. It's not accepting, I can I need to turn off this option. Now it is unlocked and I can do. And so you see uh, the changing only on the upper surface and we have our column done. Inside the edit mode, you see the column in highlight and the rest of the model in light gray. Here you can, you can close, I will close the trace and reference window and here you can close the environment to see only the element you are editing and I'll click here to exit edit mode. Doing all the bin editing, select the bin, clicking on the blue reference line, we have split segment again, use the support the support of the column to click. After that, I'll click again on reference line, split segment, and I'll type 30 centimeters to do another section. And to make the variation on bin section, first we have a part that is upon the support, but it is modeled entering into the column. So, in this situation, we need to add modifiers to profile. Go to Options, Element Attributes, Profile Manager, select the precast bin 1, I'll click Edit, and here on Modifier, Modifiers tab, I'm going to do a new modifier, I'll type 1, and clicking into this line below, a uh, dimension is displayed, and I'll catch this point. Another click, and uh, therefore this profile can be moved inside this gap. I'll save, close the window, select the bin, edit, and selecting the first section this blue line appear, clicking on it, using the option offset add, I can elevate this profile. Here in this section I need more modifiers to do what I want, 
So I will exit edit mode. Go to options, element, attributes, profile manager. Editing again the precast bin one. You can erase the modifier one and I will create new modifiers. Click modifier, I will type one, select this bottom line, dimension until down 70 centimeters, new modifier two. I'll click on the other side. Here the same thing, 70 centimeters, new modifier 3, select the left line, and now 10 centimeters, new modifier 4, right line, 10 centimeters again, I'll save. Uh, message appears saying that the element will be modified. I'll click OK. We can close the window. And here, entering on edit mode again, I will select this. I will select this section and clicking on this horizontal line using the the offset edge of type. I'll type here 75 centimeters. So it goes up. I do the same on the other side. And now selecting here this cross section. I can do the same, but now I'll change here to tapered size. And clicking on blue line, you can do this. You can elevate this element, making a slope on beam. I do the same on the other side. And so you can see that it is a versatile element, a great enhancement on ARCHICAD 23 to do structures of variable sections.